Hey guys, it's me, Ria, on the run. I'm just stopping at my turnaround point here, guys. Just wanting to share a message that Spirit has enlightened me with today. And that is about releasing, <laughs> releasing your creative power, um, allowing yourself to make creative choices in, in times where you feel oppressed. Those times where you feel um, stuck, oppressed, can't move. Those are the times that uh, are gifts to allow the igniting of your own creative power, of your own choices that you can make that activate the light with early release the divinity within you, your love, your light. Let me just show you guys. Hopefully it's not too uh, windy. This is essentially what you are, pure love, light beings. And as you tune in to your heart or that creative expression, you are releasing and igniting that in your life. So when you feel um, stuck, a lot of times what we do when we feel like we have no control over our outside circumstances, we try to take control, we try to manipulate, we try to make our situation better by trying to control the outside. But those um, times where we feel stuck or limited in decisions and choices we can make, those are the times of the greatest creative power. It's always that um, opposite end of the pendulum. As dark as the dark is, as light as the light. Look at Anne Frank, look at Nelson Mandela. Not that I know their personal stories, but you know, deeply oppressed situations will allow yourself to connect and ignite to that divinity within you. So whatever it is you are going through, Spirit says, is a gift for you to find that creative power, that ignition, that illumination of the light within you. It can be as simple as getting out of bed like me and choosing to take a run. That's creative power, guys. And then you start this like momentum, domino effect. You choose, you choose to act, to make a choice or a decision based on your creative power. Then you release all of this momentum, which to me, it comes to messages, more insight, ideas, divine guidance. Whenever you act on your creative power and allow it, you are releasing your highest divinity to be expressed, to be realized, to guide you. Say it was raining. Well, I could sit in bed and say, damn it, I wish this freaking one week spell of rain would go away. But no, I can put on freaking a uh, rain jacket or muck boots or whatever, take an umbrella and go for a walk. That's releasing the creative power. That's what COVID was for us guys. It was an opportunity to connect to the creative power within us. Quarantine, all of that kind of stuff forced us to look at ourselves. If we can't control, when we're put in a situation where we literally can't control our outside circumstances, it causes us to go within. What a gift. And the more we control or try to control the outside, actually that is based in resistance. Resisting what, what life is showing us. What gift is, is life giving us at the moment? Because everything on our outside is always a gift to release our creative power through, decision, uh, through choices that we make. And it can be as simple, I'm just turning because of the wind. Um, it can be as simple as a uh, thought. Taking your thought of, oh, this guy or this person did this or that to me. But instead, finding the the empowerment in it. You always have the choice to focus your thoughts on where you want to put them. And when they say, choose happiness, happiness, we think of it as an emotion, like he, he, ha, ha, or I feel good. But happiness, when you make a choice in happiness, choose to be happy, you're actually choosing self-empowerment. You're actually choosing creative choice because the cre that's what you guys are. God is creation. Creation, guys. You are the love and light of God's source energy. You're here to create. And the harder the circumstance or more limiting or the struggle, the greater the creative expression that can come forth. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because <laughs> I know a lot of us have gone through a lot of um, deaths and rebirths and um, it's just a reminder. It's not anything that you guys don't already know. It's just a reminder to reach for the creative power. And a lot of times, as we know, that, that's gonna have to come from within. We can tell someone what to do. But, and we got to go through our own process and our own self-realization to understand or experience something truly. But um, just it's just a reminder. What can you do today to release your creative expression? It could be just a journal. Say, you're, say you are bedridden. Say you're sick. 
you can just take the creative choice to journal or write or draw or listen to something. Every little action you take is create is creation in motion. So just ask yourself, where are you creating your momentum? What are you igniting in your life? Is it based in love and creation and fear and freedom? Or is it based in fear, burden, burden, victim? Within every victim, there allows there's the potential for freedom, guys. That is what's being called of you, freedom. Freedom to be you, freedom to express, freedom to speak your truth. Frick, freedom to just frickin' write a frickin' post. <laughs> All right, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. We'll take a deep breath in, guys. The sun was literally this morning like the cross breath as it came up over the horizon, but I didn't, I didn't, um, I wasn't on the beach then. So we'll just take a nice deep breath in and remember that that light is the physical representation of the light and love within you wanting to be expressed, wanting to be released through your attention. All you got to do is bring attention to it. Take a breath in, guys. Drop into your heart space, the portal, divinity, all that you ever are, could be, or want to be, the highest expression of you. And as you tune into that light, you ignite, you co-create, you activate, you are the prana of all of your creation. And exhale. Know that everything you just connected to on the in-breath was to activate your love and your light, to activate all that you are to allow the flow of your highest guidance and frequency to be realized, to be acted upon, guys. So just, uh, I challenge you guys all to um, do something you haven't done before. Something, something that brings you joy. Something that you've been thinking about but haven't taken action on, guys. All right, guys, may you all shine with the entirety of all the love and light that you are.